Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm an engineer here at NXP and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Storyboard and MC Expresso. So we've recently partnered with Crank Software to offer Storyboard as one of our enabling software technologies directly inside the MC Expresso SDK so that you have an easier time getting started and can quickly transition to the fully licensed product. So before we get started, you want to make sure that you've downloaded and installed one of the IDEs that's supported by the MCU Expresso SDK. So that could be either the MCU Expresso IDE, IAR, or Kyle MDK. And once you've done that, then we can go ahead and download the MCU Expresso SDK. So we want to go to the online MCU Expresso SDK builder and click Select Development Board. And once you log in with your NXP account, then you can select the development board that we're going to be using. So in this video, I'll be using the IDA.MX RT1060 evaluation kit. So I'm just going to search for that. And we can select it from this list and then build the MC Expresso SDK. And on this page is where we select the settings for the SDK that we're customizing. So you can select which version you would like to download, the tool chain that you would like to download your SDK for, and then your host operating system. And down here in this table is where we select our optional software components. So I'm going to click the checkbox beside Crank Storyboard. And then since the example projects for Crank are um, Amazon Free RTOS based, we also want to make sure that that is included in our download. And once we click those checkboxes, um, it will automatically include these software components in our SDK download. So down here, you can give your archive a name and then hit download SDK. Um, once you agree to the user agreement, then your SDK sh download should start automatically. So now that we've downloaded our SDK, we need to install it into the MC Expresso IDE, and we can do that by simply dragging and dropping it into the installed SDK tab. Just click OK, and it will automatically install it for you. And that gives us access to all of the example projects that are included in the zip file. So now that we've installed the SDK, we can go down to the Quick Start panel and click import SDK examples and select the development board that we're using. Just hit next and we can see a variety of, example, of examples here, um, different demo applications, different driver examples, and then a bunch of different examples for the various software components that we selected back when we were building our SDK. So we want to, um, to import one of these crank storyboard examples um, as you can see, there are two different storyboard examples included in the MCU Expresso SDK. One simple Hello World example, um, and then the coffee machine demo that you might have seen before. It has a few more features and a couple of different screens to interact with. So for this video, we're going to select the Hello World example. Um, it's about as simple as it gets um, with the RT6, RT1060. Um, hit finish and then the IDE will automatically pull all of the files that it needs for these examples um, and put them into a project for us. So now we have our project and we can open it up to see the different um, folders within it. We have a directory for Crank Software. Uh, this just includes the binary runtime libraries um, and where different features and libraries exist in the project. And then our source folder, um, which is contains the free RTOS storyboard task um, and the main file where this is kicked off, um, as well as some other storyboard application configuration, um, like the display initialization and PXP utili utilization. Um, so from here, you can go ahead and 
plug in your board and then we can build our application. And once it's finished building, then we can download it to the board. So we can go back down to the quick start panel, hit debug. This will automatically search for the debug probe. Um, you can see it found the SAMHSA STAP debug probe. Just hit OK. That's the one that's already on the evaluation kit. Um, and it will start flashing the example project to the board. And once that has finished, then we can go back up here and hit resume all debug sessions. And you should see the co or hello world example show up on the screen of your evaluation kit. So that is how you get started with Storyboard and MCU Expresso. Um, if you'd like to learn more about MCU Expresso software and tools, you can visit the overview page or one of our community sites. And then if you'd like to go beyond the examples included in the MCU Expresso SDK, you can download the free 30-day trial of Storyboard and start developing your own applications on your IDA MXRT series evaluation kit today.